Olympic team. Nobody's beaten him at his weight class in a decade. But Kyle Dake is a win away from becoming the first. Took the opening period 3-0. Again, a scintillating college career at Cornell. The only man ever to win four NCAA titles at four weight classes. And shifting weights, his thing. World champion up at 79 kilograms the last two worlds. That's not an Olympic weight class. So he's down here against Burroughs and trying to break through. And Dake starting early again, assertive, and putting up points two on the edge to strike first about 10 seconds in. Something looked wrong there. Almost like he was injured. That was too easy for him to go around. Now Burroughs is asking Mark Manning, his coach, to throw in the challenge brick. Again, each corner has the opportunity to go to video review. You get one challenge per bout. If you win it, you keep it. And Jordan didn't look like he was convinced to do it because if you lose it, your opponent gets a penalty point. Right here, snaps him down right here and runs the corner. Almost looked like that's not like Jordan. Jordan really follows through. Now, that continuation went a little bit further, but I think the score will hold up. For Burroughs to make a difference in this match, he needs to score. When's the last time we've seen Jordan Burroughs not score in a period or not score in a match? Needs to finish his shots, got to the legs in the first match, but struggled with finishing. Kyle's defense, Kyle Dake's defense, solid. You've got to be solid with your finishes. Well, now, one thing here is as, as we watch this video, that Burroughs did go out of bounds but never touched a knee. So it could come back and they could be award just a point. Right here, as we see, see he stayed up. So you see the athletes and the official yeah. looking on right now at the big screen above for that video review. Let's see if they take a point off, take it both off. They've just given one to Kyle Dake for forcing Burroughs out. And it was right. It took me a couple times to see it, but Burroughs did not touch a knee. And for that reason, they only gave a point. To get to take down, the full takedown, you've got to have two hands on the mat, one knee. So the challenge works. Burroughs still has it at his disposal if he needs it later here. And again, lost the first bout in the best of three, three nothing. Still trying to get his first point against Kyle Day. And now Dake needing a moment after getting poked in the eye. Looks like there's an attitude with Jordan right now. Jordan Burroughs looks like he's coming out with a little bit more of an attitude, and he's going to need that. He's got to need, he needs everything to take out Dake. And burst onto the international scene in 2011, and Burroughs won his first 69 international matches in a row, including the world title in 2011, that Olympic gold in 2012, and again, five world and Olympic titles in all. And again, John, I think his most amazing feat is that he's defended this weight class every year, a decade where nobody's been able to break through against him in the United States. Dake failing three times earlier in his career against Burroughs at a World Team Trials, but now could he have the answer? Could he have the key to get past Burroughs and this time get to the Olympics? Dake's doing a good job of not just staying square with him, staying right out in front of him, moving side to side a little bit more. There's a passivity. The right call. We're seeing a lot of slapping with the hands. As an official, I would just step step away, put that whistle in your pocket. These guys are going to wrestle this match. They're going to go after it. And just a passivity warning, neither wrestler put on the activity clock here. one nothing. that point for Dake. On the initial push out of Burroughs, the opening flurry of this first period stands. Both are being physical with their hands right now. When he looked to clear elbows, either one of them clearing elbows to a shot. Dake's got great low level shots. Burroughs is looking to either either two hands to one leg on a single leg or, or blowing through him with a double. It doesn't seem like he's pulling that trigger like he needs to after he moves him. There's a nice single leg attempt. All 
this setup work for the pair to try to find a way in on each other. 30 seconds left to go in the period. And again, each wrestler now with a passivity warning. Next one will put them on the clock. Doesn't look like that'll happen here There's in this opening point. period. Burrows in trying to get the double. Short time in the period. Needs to come up or switch to a single leg. This is where Dake is good. Good defense. This is what we talked about in the first match. He didn't finish his shots. And it's not so much what he's not doing, it's what Dake's doing. What do they say in every sport? Good defense beats a good offense. They need some offense, and Dake's got enough to win round one and lead here in round two. Well, for a 1-0 period, it was a good, good quality effort from both guys. Right here, he shoots in. He needs to stay up above those knees. He don't need to drop down below them. This is that. This is Dake's strength. We've seen him flop people all over the mat in this position. So Kyle Dake. Trying to get through Jordan Burroughs. Single leg attempt. Needs to drag out. Dake needs to score right here. He needs to pull him down and go run that corner. Just like he. Nice job. No two awarded yet. He needs to get under both armpits. Once he gets over under both armpits, they should be scoring. Time flip there for Dake to get the exposure and looking to continue it for more. Three nothing lead again for Kyle Dake. And it started with him running that corner. Not being satisfied that I stopped Jordan Burrell's shot, but I'm going to score on it. So Kyle Dake's wife, Megan, the two kids, two daughters, both two years of age and younger. Want you to see if dad can get it done. Jordan Burroughs family hoping for a comeback from their guy. Burroughs here on the edge, but still not able to get to Dake, who's locked in every time Burroughs has gone for a takedown. Might have stepped out there. No point awarded. Still 3 nothing for Kyle Dake. Less than two minutes left to go. Burles, he needs to look for his double leg. He needs to stay up above the ankles. He needs to go through him. Try to get that head popped to the outside. Dake, if you're not going to go scoring offensively, continue to focus on scoring defensively. 90 seconds left to go. Every year, going back to his international debut in 2011, Jordan Burroughs has won at this weight against every American when it's counted the most at every World or Olympic trial event. Nine straight times. Kyle Date looking to become the first to beat Burroughs and represent the United States at 74 kilograms. It's been a decade of dominance for Jordan Burroughs, but it's a little over a minute left before it could end. Needs, needs to stay focused on a score. He's getting back in the match, a push out, and you're a takedown away from winning. You don't have to get it all at once. Dave, stay defensive. Keep moving side to side. It's frustrating Jordan Burroughs right now. You stand in front of him, you risk getting taken down. Well, Dave on the shot clock, but don't want to get too risky here at this point. And the point will go in Burroughs' favor. The first one on his side of the ledger. He didn't score it. Came as via a penalty, but he'll take it. A takedown now would give him the tie and the tie-breaking criteria to force us to a third bout in the best of three. Date 20 seconds away from Tokyo. Oldest son, Beacon, looking on. There's Dake's family. Tension mounting. Burroughs trying to score, does. Push out point. You push out. Your takedown away. Get to a leg. Kyle needs strong defense. Push out won't do it. Dake has the two point as the criteria. And Kyle Dake 
trying to hang on, and Dake will finally dethrone Jordan Burroughs. Words from Kyle Dake and the sign of respect for the American legend Jordan Burroughs, but Kyle Dake writing his own history, his personal story, and the latest chapter has him headed to Tokyo to represent the United States.